Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the color of your period and why that matters. The color of your period can tell you a lot about your health and it's really important to know like what's normal, what's not, what can indicate maybe some health issues going on, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things that we need to talk about. Normal discharge is usually white. It can be creamy or it can be very clear and watery, and that's normal. And you'll probably notice that when you go to the bathroom or you might notice it in your underwear. And so discharge around certain times of your cycle, especially around ovulation, your body produces a lot of it. That's all normal. Like. It's normal for your vagina to produce discharge, but if there is any color like that's not white and that is accompanied by clumpiness or burning and itching or it's gray and smelly or anything like that, that's not normal and that indicates that you gotta get it checked out. You know your body better than me and so you know what's normal, but any kind of deviation from normal is something to investigate. Gray discharge could indicate bacterial vaginosis, it could also indicate some other things going on so it's really important to have these things investigated just to make sure that everything's good so moving on from there another color that may indicate infection would be anything like orangey so anything that's mixed with cervical mucus that is like an orangey kind of color than you're used to could also indicate infection or possibly something else going on the next color that I think is really important to talk about is anything pink so if you experience pink spotting um, during your cycle or if you experience pink bleeding during menstruation if you have pink pink spotting that usually indicates ovulation spotting and so ovulation spotting is considered normal and approximately about 5% of people with periods experience it. That is something to be aware of and usually what happens is there might be a little bit of blood but it's mixed with cervical mucus and that's why it comes out a pink kind of color. Now if you experience pink bleeding when you have your period that could indicate low estrogen levels because your period should be like a bright red or like a crimson red color. Something else that may indicate like pink blood could be potentially like anemia or something like that. Um, again, super important to get it checked out. And so that kind of brings me to like my next point is that a normal period should be a red color. Um, it should be red or like a crimson red initially and then it should be like a dark kind of red in the middle of your flow. That's normal and that's what you want to aim for. That means everything's good, everything's healthy, super great. Now you'll notice that you'll go from having that really beautiful kind of crimson red and then you might notice that your period becomes more brown and I know a lot of people kind of are freaked out by that They're like oh my goodness what's going on and usually brown blood or brown spotting uh, before or after your period indicates like oxidized blood so if you have dark brown bleeding before your period happens like a little bit of spotting that usually just indicates a little bit of um, oxidized blood from the last period and if you have dark brown spotting or bleeding at the end of your period that usually just again indicates that things are slowing down in your body and you know things are just oxidizing quickly because your flow isn't as heavy and so things aren't kind of coming out as quickly as they were and so these are totally totally normal situations and if you do experience any brown spotting two or more days before your period that maybe indicate low progesterone levels now if you have any like purple menstrual blood or like clumpy kind of purple clots or anything like that that could indicate an issue with hormone balance usually that indicates like high estrogen levels and if you see black period blood usually at the end of your period that usually also indicates just some old stagnant blood or tissue that is just taking a little bit of time to get on out with all of that being said if you ever have any concerning symptoms that you're just not sure about just always talk to your doctor super important to get it all covered and checked out just to make sure that there's nothing else going on when it comes to clots I just wanted to touch on this a little bit because clots and menstruation usually go hand in hand right so clots are considered normal if they're very very small and infrequent and by small I mean they should be like dime size or smaller like they should be very very tiny if you're having clots that are really really large and are happening very frequently and you're passing a lot of clots that's definitely a concerning symptom and that usually suggests that you're experiencing some heavy bleeding and so I definitely think that these are things to track it's really important when you have your period to make sure that you're like looking to see the color and then also the consistency is it really clotty 
or is it just really liquidy or is it just kind of look like blood track these things especially if you have any concerning symptoms because the more that you track your symptoms the better that your healthcare provider can help you when you bring this information to them and so it's just a really really great practice to get into and if you are tracking your cycle it's also a really great idea to try to track like how many tampons you're using or how many pads you're soaking through or how much you're losing when you empty your menstrual cup because a normal period should be about 30 to 50 milliliters of blood loss the entire period and I know a lot of us feel like we probably lose a lot more than that and some of us do and so a heavy period is considered anything above 80 milliliters and a light period or a scanty period is considered anything below 25 milliliters of blood loss and so it's really important if you are tracking your cycle and you're able to track how much menstrual flow you're losing that can be so great at indicating what's going on as well so I hope you learned something in this video hopefully all the graphics that I showed worked unfortunately with YouTube YouTube doesn't love graphic stuff and so showing pictures of blood and discharge and all that kind of stuff they're not super stoked on it and I like to keep my channel around and so hopefully what I showed you was a good representation of colors you might see when it comes to discharge and menstrual flow. I just really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.